Are you still seeking? Well, welcome to another Christmas edition of the Daily Dose. Well, here it is. Here's the point of Christmas. Are you ready? God came to dwell with us so that we could dwell with Him forever. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Merry Christmas. Look, Jesus stepped down from heaven to dwell with us so that a way could be made for us to dwell with Him forever. Now and forever, Merry Christmas. So the Apostle John, he reminds us in the first chapter of his Gospel that the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. That's in John chapter 1, verses 1 and 14. But even after Jesus came to this earth, after He put on flesh and made His dwelling among us, most people missed Him. Why? Because they didn't seek Him. Of course, you know, the busy world, they missed Him. Too much going on back in the day, right? And, and this busy and distracted world, we're still missing Him. So many are missing Him. But frankly, more than anyone, back in the day it was the religious people, the Pharisees of the day, who really missed Him. And it's still happening today. I'm telling you, from, from what I can gather about those Pharisees back in the day, I think they were mostly excited about the fact that they were able to, to search and, and to study and then give the correct answers. Oh, we got it right. We got the right answer, right? It seems like they were more interested in what they knew about the Messiah than they were interested in, in the opportunity that they had to come to know Him, to receive Him, to lay down their lives and to worship the Messiah. Beloved, we got to be careful. We must be careful to never fall into the habit, into that trap of the Pharisees, the religious people who substituted seeking with simply studying. And now studying isn't bad. Studying is good, but you can't stop there. It should lead you to seeking. See, those religious Pharisees, they substituted talking to God with simply talking about God. After all, think about this. Do you want to simply know about God? Or do you really want to know Him, to see Him, to spend time with Him, to hear His voice and truly worship Him? Here's what's interesting. In the Gospel of Matthew, we discover some non-religious foreigners of the day. They were called the Magi, right? The, the wise men. And these, these dudes, they weren't satisfied with stopping at just knowing about Jesus. Sure, they studied all about Him. They knew a lot. They were well studied about this coming Messiah, this coming King of the Israelites. But they didn't stop with the study. Instead, they were compelled to seek Him, to make great efforts to see Him and to worship Him. So, people in this world today and throughout history, they've always been seeking for something, seeking for all kinds of things. And people right now in this Christmas season, they're seeking. They're seeking for things, right? They're seeking fun. They're seeking for another Christmas party or maybe not. I don't know. And of course, people, I mean, I was just out there today. People are going crazy. They're seeking for, for the perfect presence to give to others. But also, I'm telling you what, they're seeking for the presence to get. Man, a lot of people are buying presents for themselves, right? But the real treasure this Christmas isn't what you find in the store. It's isn't what you find out on Amazon. The real treasure this Christmas and every day is Jesus. Jesus. So here's the big Christmas question. Are you still seeking after Him? After all, when instead of going through the motions, we seek God with all of our heart, all of our lives, we're actually promised by God that we will find Him. So do you want to hear God's voice? You can when you seek Him. Do you want to do Jesus kind of stuff, like miracles. You will when you see God and, and go all in with Him and actually follow Him into those, into those miracles. Do you want to know His presence? I'm, I'm talking P-R-E-S-E-N-C-E, -E, His presence. Do you want to feel His love and, and walk and talk in His power? Well, then seek Him. And here's the deal. A true seeker will get the treasure. That's a promise right in God's Word. The lesson I believe we need to grasp from the wise men, from those magi on this Christmas is we need to be seekers. 
So give your life to going after the one treasure that really matters. His name is Jesus. Be willing to pursue the Lord. Seek His face to invest your time, talent, and treasure, seeking out the greatest treasure of all times. And with that, I'm going to say Merry Christmas. Enjoy seeking. Enjoy finding. Enjoy Jesus. And hey, here's another opportunity. Let's do this together on this Christmas Eve at 5 p.m. right here at the Evident Life Church Christmas Eve candlelight service. See you then. Merry Christmas.